Oh, look at all the turkey vultures today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, squirrel. Today, we're gonna show you guys what SDI's e-click system could do on the Jeep. It's a Jeep, man. <laughs> it's a Jeep. I, I'm not used to taking a Jeep that fast, man. Dude, it's like a sports car. Get back to you, yeah. I made a bag. We're just cruising. Wayne, you're a madman. That shit was impressive. <laughs> Hi guys, Haley, we keep it dirty off-road. Today I got Wayne again with me and I got Caesar behind the camera. What's up guys? Today we're gonna do an overview on the e-click system for the Jeeps. And the reason why I wanted to do this guys is we have a Jeep. This is my wife's Jeeps. It's a 2020 Jeep. She loves it. I absolutely hate it. I think it drives like crap. Last time I was here testing out the Raptor, the SDI team let me drive their Jeep and this thing impressed the hell out of me. So in today's video, we're gonna do a comparison side by side of both of these cars, show you how it improves the road manners, how it improves off-road capabilities, and most importantly, allows you to take a Jeep and keep up on a Raptor run. But to get things started off, this right here, 2020 Jeep, this thing is all stock. The only modification we've done is we did the recall to the steering because, you know, the issues with the chore of it driving on the road. And then because we were having such a hard time driving this thing, the dealer upgraded our stabilizer to the Fox stabilizer. This thing is a chore to drive. I hate driving it. My wife loves it. I hate it. I think on a freeway, it's awful driving. It requires way too much input. It's just not a fun ride. This right here though is SDI's Jeep. This is a 2019 with the four cylinder, right? Yeah, 2019 four cylinder turbo. Now, as far as what you guys have done, you got two and a half inch curry kit with springs and arms. You guys did upgraded 17 inch wheels with 37 inch tires 37. right so which version of the e-click system does this one have so this has the e-click pro so that means you get the full adjustability and all that stuff in the shocks yeah. right and this has your proprietary shocks too yeah, right so we make these shocks they're a two and a half inch shock seven eight shafts internally bypassed with a built-in two inch bump and what's cool about these shocks guys is they're designed for just about any height right anything from zero to five inch lift right yes yeah, so we made it really simple to be able to change it from a zero lift kit to a five inch you can drop the nitrogen pull the dust cap move its internal stop position and now you're at the next lift height last time we were here with the Raptor comparison. They let me take a ride in this thing. Unfortunately, I can't share that video with you guys because we didn't have the mics up or anything, so the audio is unusable. But all I can tell you is, is this thing didn't make sense. Sold and impressed. I'm perplexed. <laughs> How could, are the stock shocks that bad? You Normal know? shocks are that bad. I've been driving my wife's Jeep off and on in about a year and a half and I avoid driving this thing. It didn't make sense how smooth this thing was. I mean, the, the driving was different, driving on the freeway was different, it handled better, and then off-road was, it just doesn't make sense for a Jeep to do what it does with just shocks being replaced, right? Just with the e-click system added. The steering on this thing is more stock than mine is. Mine has the upgraded software, the upgraded gears, and the upgraded stabilizer because of all the complaints we've had. And this thing already drives much better, which it makes no sense to me. It still makes no sense to me. Well, if you have to change your steering stabilizer to take the shake out, you have bigger issues going on with your vehicle. Everybody thinks you can change the steering stabilizer to get rid of the notorious death wobble. There's other problems. What we really want to highlight to you guys today, the shocks make such a big difference in the way the Jeep performs that we wanted to show it to you today and it improves the on-road manners and the off-road manners. Jeeping and Raptoring is very different. Raptoring is all about going fast. Jeeping is all about crawling over rocks. Good Jeep run is maybe nine, 10 miles in a day, a long long Jeep day is maybe 40 miles, whereas a Raptor run, a short day is 150 miles and a long day is about 250 miles. It's very, very different world. And we're gonna show you guys how the eClick system improves on-road, off-road, and allows you guys to keep up with Raptors so that I don't get Jeep guys to come on a Raptor run and that's the last time they come. They'll be coming out more often, I'm hoping, with this system. All right, so that's what we're gonna do next, guys. Stay tuned for all the action. All right, we're starting off with the stock Jeep, just to kind of set the baseline, right? What you don't want, video? Yes, what you don't want. <laughs> this stock Jeep can't be that bad, it's a Jeep. Yeah, that's the they thing. They millions of them. <laughs> but dude, what nobody talks about is how much of a compromise this damn thing is. Because it really is, it's a compromise. They just, they don't drive well. It's particularly loud in here, so that gets annoying. But what sucks the most is the steering. The steering just makes it a nightmare. Why did you uh, get a Jeep then? I didn't want a Jeep. The wife wanted, so what the wife wants, the wife gets. Happy wife. Happy life. That's right. It doesn't sound like a raptor. 
<laughs> so this actually has the Pinstar 3.6. It's a good motor. Uh, is it? But it's so gutless. So one thing I want to point out here, guys, is we're going down the road. You'll notice my steering input. I do have to constantly do it, but also there's a there's a floatiness to it. It's like kind of bouncing up a little bit. The front end is, and that's normal for a Jeep. It requires a lot of feedback and a lot of extra input on the steering. And you're doing about 70? 75. 75. But what I hate the most about this thing is it, it is a chore to drive. Your, your hands are constantly moving on the steering wheel. And you can just see it right there. I'm constantly having to do minor adjustments. It's... It's just the nature of a Jeep. And nobody talks about it. Nobody does. Nobody does. I don't understand why. I guess coming from the Raptor side, we're a little spoiled because that thing rides really good on the street and you can go so fast with it off-road. Normally with the Jeep, I would try to do one hand, but after a while you get so tired that my normal stance with the Jeep is always two hands. Always. So imagine putting 37s, 40s on this thing or doing a lift. As soon as you add a lift, any kind of change in the geometry, it gets exponentially worse. A Jeep on 37s is a nightmare on street. The new standard is 40s on JLs. Just saying that. Everybody's going to 40s. Before you know it, it's going to be 42s and, yes. and and next thing you know, everybody's gonna have monster trucks. Yes. So this road is brand spanking new, recently paved. Let's see how the Jeep handles it. You could feel everything on the road, right? Yeah. Yeah, every little transition. Every little contour you could feel. Yeah. Like those little transitions, you could feel everything in a Jeep. I can still see you trying to fight the wheel there. It also has a little bit of a numb spot. They've never been able to get rid of that numb spot and it tends to want to wander. Like I've never been able to get the steering to be perfectly straight, right? It's always off to one side because of the way the Jeep steering works. As you're driving, you can see your hands. Yeah. I'm shaking the steering wheel. Do you feel the Jeep moving? No. <laughs> <laughs> My Gen 2, after I started having the death shake, that numb spot started getting big too, which was so annoying. So what does your wife think about the Jeep? She she loves it. She loves it? She loves it. She doesn't care about the all the extra noise. She doesn't care about the steering. She loves it. I don't know why she loves it, but she loves it. Now, does she off-road? Does, no. does she? No? Okay. No. no My wife did. really loved hers, too, because I think it was easy for parking. It's easy to get in and out of places. The turning radius. Elevated seating position, elevated too. Elevated seating. For the JL, they did improve the road handling dynamics of this thing substantially. They made a big deal about everything's upgraded. It handles better on the road. But but it's still a chore <laughs> my boys have driven this thing too and they don't like it christian had to drive yeah. it there for a couple weeks he hated it so this is the turn right yep so we're at 40. that was at 40 man and that was a lot of lean <laughs> so that was 40 and you could already feel it leaning and it was squealing the tires and going into it too there was no confidence right you I had to adjust a couple of times just to get it a point right. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm used to my truck already, and it was a little scary don't going at that speed. Still right at about 50 with K rails to keep you in the in the track. There's a lot of body roll on this you thing. You constantly have to fight it. You do. It's it's you know how like the race car drivers you see them do this all the time? Yeah. That's kind of what you have to do with this. You have to constantly be adjusting. What you do notice though is the body roll. There's definitely some body roll. And when it comes back, there's a sudden, you know, where it goes down and then back up. Sudden jumps. So I can only imagine if you had a lift on this. Mind you, if I had my wife on here, she would be driving like a madman. She knows this Jeep, she drives like crazy in it, but it's terrifying in the passenger seat. Terrifying. You don't have to tell me to I, I already know how it feels here. I'm like, <laughs> shit. Hey Leo, can you slow down? So what should we go through here? Like at what speeds? Just take it easy, drive normal, or try to push it? I would see where you're comfortable. <laughs> it's a Jeep, man. It's a Jeep. Right? I know so, I, hate, I, I keep saying that, but it's a Jeep. I, I think know. I, a lot it, of guys understand. It, it, it's a it's a brick shit house. You got to figure out what's comfortable for you, and then we'll figure out what we can do in art. Yeah, I wouldn't go much faster than that. That was 35? I've, yeah, that was 35, 40. I feel like you would be going off the road if you did that. It felt like that. Now, I almost think that we should have Wayne drive the other one, just to kind of show the difference. No, I think you I should think drive I think you it. should, yeah. because you... You drove this one. Well, yeah. why don't we do this? Uh, we'll, I'll drive through it, and then at some point we should have Wayne drive us through to show us what he can really do. Yes, I think so. Because you're, you're the most familiar with it. When I drove it, he kept telling me, keep going, go, don't slow down, don't slow down. But I just couldn't. So where are you at? 40. 30. 30. 30. 30 right there. 
30 on the turn. And that was a little sketchy. It was. And I had to adjust a bit. <laughs> but that's normal Jeep. Like I said, right? that's normal Jeep. There's a reason why when we have Jeeps come on our runs, they come once and they don't return because they can't keep pace with the Raptors. They just can't. Driving dynamics of this thing is not set up for fast off-roading or highway. It's set up for rocks. And you mentioned something earlier that caught my attention. You said that Jeep with the SDI equally can keep up with the Raptor? That's what Wayne's telling me, right? Wayne, that thing, it should perform better than a Raptor in some areas, right? It actually will. It'll In the rougher stuff, the Jeep would probably actually do better. Why is that? You're going to get a lot better articulation out of a solid axle than you are an independent. When you're going through certain areas too, the shorter wheelbase will help. If you're mobbing through the whoops at 30 or so, the Jeep will just get right on top of them and just mob through. Let's go drive the SDI Jeep now. This one's 37, it's got no steps. <laughs> oh, fuck. Here we go. I mean, you sure you want 37s on your Jeep? They're not that much higher. It's just a few inches. That's what she said. Yeah. We are in the Jeep now. What mode should we go into? We should just go road mode, right? Yeah, so let's check the settings. So it's in the middle. Okay. So everything's good? Everything's good. So that'll tell you what That's the shock what is doing. See. Yeah. And then if you swipe left, there's your speedo, swipe left again, there's your pitch and roll. The one I want to really keep it on is that. Like we told you guys before too, I've actually already test driven this thing. For the most part, I was kind of in disbelief because a Jeep is not supposed to drive like this. Mind you, this is a lifted Jeep, two and a half inch lift on 37. So this should drive like crap compared to my stock Jeep and it doesn't. So first test is freeway. You got the same problem as I do with your steering, man. It's always never straight. I just had it aligned. Really? Yes. Yeah, the Jeep dealer just did alignment on this. They suck, dude. And they charged me 130 bucks. I'm like, for a tow set and straighten the steering wheel? And he's like, yeah, that's what an alignment is. So I'm like, no, it's not. Alignment's when you actually go in and change your camber and your caster. You can't do it on a solid axle. So we're right at 70. You could definitely tell a difference. You're still doing some adjustments, but it's not as bad as mine where I'm like constantly moving. Seem a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm not constantly doing this. I'm not constantly going back and forth. And I mean, look, if I do that here, you could feel it. You can feel the shake in the in the Jeep. You can't. We couldn't feel that in the other one. We got all the shocks doing three, 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 right? What happens when I do this? Yeah, see, you can see how it's adjusting. So maybe Caesar, can you show that right here? You can see how they're working. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the slow lane just like how we did before. The shocks are doing stuff. They're trying to keep you level. It's amazing how much a good shock improves the steering and the handling dynamics of this truck. Before when we did it through here, every little bump we felt like the transitions. Mind you, again, I, I know I, I keep saying this, but it, this is a 37 inch truck, so you are gonna feel some stuff worse. See, like right here. So you do feel it, but I don't feel it in the steering wheel. Actually, soften it up if you want. Wayne, and you gotta explain this to me, man, because it still doesn't make sense. So in my Jeep, we went through there. We obviously felt it in the body, but we also saw it in the steering wheel. We just went through that. We felt it in the body, but I didn't feel it in the steering wheel. Why is that? Why is it that the shocks make that much of a difference? The shocks are trying to keep the composure of the vehicle at all times. Uh -huh. So if it feels like a dip in the road, it's going to push you to the right or left. It'll stiffen that shock so you don't, you don't go right. You could see it right here too. Like when we went over that next transition, you could see the rear end's the one doing the majority of the work yeah. there. And it makes a huge difference on the steering where it's far less input. You Jeep guys that have been dealing with that awful steering in this thing, you'll notice it instantly and be blown away by how much easier it is to drive this thing. It's almost like driving a Raptor, almost. Not quite, but almost. You still have to deal with the uncomfortable seats and all the noise, you know. You don't get any fart filters like we do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my dad calls the ventilated seats. Okay. Yeah. Do you have uh, ventilated seats on your Gen? Yeah, and they actually Maybe. work better than the Gen 2 ones. Oh, wow. It's old know. school, they work. I didn't know the Gen ones had it. The only drawback is we have a soft phone, so being accurate enough on the trails to turn it on is not as easy. You can see the shocks doing its work. It goes from five, six, four, three, so you can see it actively changing. It's high squat. It's a whole lot less body roll, period, right? Both when you're braking and when you're taking off. So my goal on my Raptor is to push it to 10. I want You want 10s? Yeah, I want 10s. I've got it up to nine. <laughs> yeah, do Time I get a, turns? On the, on the turns, yeah. <laughs> do I get a price if I go up to 10? Uh, it depends. How long you can hold it? Yeah, I think not, <laughs> nine. I don't think I was able to hold nine that, that for that oh, long. It was, it was just uh, for a short amount of time. But you'd have to be doing a turn whilst jumping. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you slowing down? So last time here we did 40. 
So we're at 40 now, and I, I gotta be honest, it's still sketchy. Oh fuck, I had to slow down. <laughs> I, I'm not used to taking the Jeep that fast. That's why I think that we should have you go through here. It didn't feel sketchy to me, and I'm looking down. I don't see you correcting the steering wheel as much. No, it really isn't. It, this, it, this feels a whole lot more like driving the Raptor. It's a whole lot smoother. I don't find myself doing that twitchy movements and all that stuff. It's, it's nice. So I think last time we were here, we were doing these sweeping turns at 40. Right now the speed limit's 40. Um, I think it says 45 here. So we're probably at around 50. And it feels more controlled. Very little body roll too. Oh yeah, you can see it adjusting, right? It's fours on the outside, twos on the inside. I want to see what this turn does. Well, see, and when you go back to middle, there's not that clunk, right? The Jeep, the stock Jeep had that little weird little, it, you know, trying to stabilize itself again every time you went back to straight. A little jaunt. It physically messes with you and, you know, changes the way you drive it. Because it, it's not predictable at the end, right? At the end, it's going to change something and it's going to do something funky. And we are going much faster through here than we were before and seeing way less body roll, which again, Makes no sense because one, we're in a Jeep, and second, this has 37. I see this. Though. All right. So this right here, we went up. I could definitely see you feeling more confident in this, which makes no sense because of how tall it is. This is taller, and this is everything. You know, it's way more unstable, but it feels flatter going through here. I have it. I kind of do the little shimmy, but it's not really needed. The, the suspension's doing its thing. Can you feel how flat the Jeep is staying? You can actually feel it stiffening up too as you go into the, the turns. So on the stop sign, try to brake hard a little bit because I, I want to show how it stiffens up the front so you don't get that pitch and then it softens up the rear, correct? Yep. Stop sign kind of You're going turn. about what, 35? About 35. So we're going to brake a little hard. So it took everything off the rear and the front went to eight. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And the car didn't nosedive. No, it didn't at all. It's impressive, man. I almost think like we need to get somebody with a Jeep with 37s on a lift to show how awful that is. We should get Eric out here. Mm -hmm. Cause his Jeep's on 37s. And he, he and is- he's running Bill Steams. And he's annoyed as hell with that thing. Yes, he hates it. All right, so let's go back to and we'll do this last little loop again with Wayne in the driver's seat. I'll hang out back. So Wayne? Yes, sir. Don't kill us. <laughs> no, sir. I know you're gonna be able to show us what this thing can really do, but yeah. Everything is at zero right now because we're just rolling. That's the corner I wanted to hit. He's just gonna slow down. I think he slowed down even further. I think he did too. Dude, that is nuts. I would never drive a Jeep like that. Not even this one. Let's do that. Let's go the other way. Oh. <laughs> It's like a sports car. It's a Ferrari with a Jeep emblem on it. That is nuts. That's impressive. I don't know how fast we got up to there, but that, that That's was nuts. 75. Dude. You knew you were doing 40? I know. <laughs> oh, one more. You hit 10. That's nuts, man. Are you okay back there, Helia? I may need a bag after all this is done. You know, the Jeep doesn't have enough oh shit handles for this. We're just cruising. Yeah, if it was, this was maybe like a fucking Corvette or something like that. Oh, this says 20 miles per hour there. Did it? Hey, you're doing 47. Holy oh, crap, dude, this is nuts. <laughs> Shit. Whew. All right, I was impressed before. <laughs> now I'm fucking mind blown. I hate this hairpin. Because it always wants to lift. <laughs> Did you feel it? Yeah. 
halfway through the turn it lifts up. Are you like a race car driver in a little life or something, man? What the hell? <laughs> we have fun. See what I mean? This is why I wanted Wade to drive it. Do you see how crazy this man man took this thing through there? I imagine if I had good tires. He made you look really bad driving this thing. <laughs> That's fine with me. It's a Jeep. I can't believe a Jeep could do that. My mind can wrap its head around that. Definitely a Jeep. Here, I'll make it easy for you. I'll give you a step to get out. <laughs> how about need it? Wayne, you're a madman. I'm a jeeper. That shit was impressive. <laughs> it's amazing what it'll do. Yeah. That was nuts, dude. That was nuts. <laughs> it's fun. Tony. you. The stock Jeep can't do that. No, we saw smiles. Remember you said on the last video that you couldn't shake him off on the Raptor? I don't think you'd be able to shake him off on this Jeep. No kidding, man. Now it makes sense. It makes so much sense. You're a bad man. It's fun. I'm speechless, dude. I don't even know what to think. The thing that keeps rolling in my mind is it's a Jeep. How can a Jeep do that? On 37. Like you you would expect a Raptor to do that, not yeah. a Jeep. So are the algorithms written different for the Jeep and the Raptor? A little bit, based on speed, based on weight, based on uh, yes. what the vehicle's doing. There's more body roll in a solid axle there is in a independent, right? So it's just how everything's written out. So it's pretty impressive. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll take a break for lunch and then we'll go do some off-roading stuff next. Perfect. Pass me. That was nuts, dude, no joke. I mean, <laughs> I'm sitting back there going like, what the fuck, how, how? You were ready. That. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I almost need a new pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't stressing. I was crazy. So what you're telling me is you can do more than that? Yeah. That's crazy. Where are we going down to see here? 25. Definitely want to show this about how this turned out. You could see where I hit the hole, and then this is where my tire tracks had. There's a gap. No tire track. What happened here? And then they come back over here, and dude, same thing over there. Look at that. <laughs> they come up to here, they stop, no tire tracks, and then they start. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, we want to hit the middle. So you kind of see my lines. It's all, I always hit the middle. Try not to avoid that hole. Fuck. 30 miles an hour, she's already flying. <laughs> Fuck. What are you doing, Helio? Strapping shit down, because it went flying. Everything went upside down over here. Oh, all right, so here we go. Stock Jeep, 30 miles an hour, traction control off. That looks so slow. It was bad. It was bad. All right, SDI Jeep, traction control off, 30 miles an hour. Did you see how smooth that was? That looked like you were just out for a Sunday stroll, man. That looks smooth. <laughs> really good way way easier all right here we go again all right here we go sdi jeep traction control off 40 miles an hour
45 ish. All right, let's set up the next one. 50, 55, whatever you want to do, sir. All right, here I go. All right, here we go. SDI Jeep, track control off. Uh, let's try to go to 50. All in two wheel drive, all these. Dude. Holy crap, dude. How did you make that? It, it, it doesn't make sense. That just doesn't make sense to see that, man. That looks smoother than a stock Raptor. That looks smoother than a stock Gen 2. <laughs> Shit, dare say that looks better than the Gen 3. Uh, not bad, huh? You want to try going faster? It's kind of tough in that corner because the turn, yeah. I'm sliding in the turn, uh -huh. but I can try. Well, it's up to you. We don't have to go. I think 50 uh, is a good mark right there. I can always try uh, four high, see if I can get a little better traction. Yeah, let's shoot from 55 then because I think that's what we topped out on the other stuff. Okay. Let's do that. All right. It's impressive, man. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right, here we go. SDI Jeep, four wheel high, traction control off, and try to hit the 55 mark. Way better, I agree. Way, way better. What speed was that? It was in the 50s. Was, it, the GPS wasn't keeping up. Way better than the Raptors. That's impressive, dude. That that just, it instantly, because the, the Raptors were jumping at the end. Yeah. That didn't jump. This bull far is better than your Raptor system. I've been telling you guys. How much, you did tell me that when I first met you. So how much travel does this thing have compared to the Raptor? Uh, the Raptor has what, eight inches of stroke? These are 12, 11.75. 12 inches of stroke? Yeah. Is that That's even with the clickers adjusted? Yeah. Wow, dude, you could tell. Cause that looked way better. What, so how come you guys aren't making shocks for the Raptor? Cause why reinvent the wheel? It's already made. Cause this doesn't yeah, work well. well. Other fish to <laughs> fry. Your wheel's better. We have other fish to fry. Well, let's fry this fish. <laughs> we have so many more other applications we should be jumping on. True. If that's already made, why reinvent it? You need to make it better. That was impressive. You were by far, th this is the flattest vehicle we've taken through that course. Without a doubt, this is the flattest vehicle, period. And it's a Jeep. It's a Jeep. I come off the seat just in this little section. But you do that in the Raptor too. Yeah. And the Raptor's off the air in that little section after the suspension's been overloaded. Yeah. So this doesn't come off the air after that. It's a Jeep. It's a Jeep. It's a Solid, Solid axle. axle. Are you sure this is a Jeep? Hang on. Keep telling you, secret sauce, it is dude. A Jeep. Secret sauce. Let's go do Jeep things now. Sounds like fun. Stop playing with Raptors. Let's go do Jeeps. That's right. So maybe no Gen Three, maybe a Jeep. Right? With a V8? Yeah. Fuck, wow, dude, that makes no sense. It's impressive. It's fun. It is. You want to drive it? Go drive it. Okay. Go drive it. Yeah. Let's see what this thing can do. I definitely pushed it to the limit. I think you got over 50. Yeah, I think so too. Fifty? I lost my radio somewhere down there. You, you went through the deep side. I went I went on the deep side. Yeah, I can yep. back in Yeah.
How did it feel, dude? It was really good, dude. You don't expect it. This thing can definitely keep up with the Raptors. It might even put some to shame. People are definitely going to be blown away. I don't know if it's uh, wheelbase on the vehicle, but even though I lift it there a little bit on the rear end, the landing was way smoother than the Raptor. Yeah, because we got bumps. There's integrated in the shock. Remember? It's integrated in the shock. So Hydraulic bump stops. You don't have to get separate bump stops. That's the beauty of the system. It saves you money. So again, why are you not doing this for the Raptor? <laughs> Because you can't gain anything on a Raptor. Because it's a, uh, the Raptor's maximum stroke is eight inches unless you move the shock. This is something else, man. I don't even know what to say, man. This is it's more incredible. like a Can Am than a Raptor. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. You know what? For some reason, it feels floaty. like floaty. Yeah, there you. I was gonna say it just like it feels that it's just absorbing yeah. everything. Maybe that's where the secret sauce is at. It's floaty, even though you're on 37s. It feels like I have a long travel suspension. Mm -hmm. That's that's how it feels. It feels almost like a race car. Yeah. Just absorbing everything, taking everything. Yes. Well, no, the problem is this dropout. No, like that way. Oh, that'd be easy. I still think he would get stuck here, man. Not at all. I still think going down this and going up over there would be. So you're attempting to drive <laughs> this down through here? Yeah, I don't think that would work. How in the world? You guys don't go rock crawling. We don't. We're yeah, raptor like, guys. Honestly, dude, we don't have the straps to get you out. Yeah, but I can always go out that way, I think. You think? I like that. I think. <laughs> wait, wait, what the fuck, dude? No way. I like your confidence. And end up in the lake. And then come up right there. Why don't we look at this? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, because we, we may be like, you guys are like way overthinking this. I like how cautious you are, Helio. I'm a rock crawler. I'm a Jeep guy. Oh, yeah, you can come out through here. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. I, it's, I think you've done this before. <laughs> I mean, we could film you going down this. No, we want to film him going down there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to film him going down there if that's what he says he can do. I would not attempt to do this on any vehicle. Are you sure, Wayne? <laughs> what? I know Jeep guys are a whole different breed. There's a reason why I'm not a Jeep guy. But that's nuts. Are you sure? If I would have still had my green Jeep on 40s, I would have been in it already. I like the fact that he was ready to drop in. And we're like, wait, 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 wait. We got to <laughs> think about this first. We got that mentality. It's like, we don't got a piece of shit Jeep. We got a Raptor. Yeah. We got to protect it a little bit. Piece of shit. I had over 100 grand into mine. <laughs> Ledge ball. I mean, are you sure, dude? This is pretty steep. Because all of that's going to give way. Yeah, I'm worried about this dropping out. It's unhappy. <laughs> Man, man, it's nuts, right? You're crazy. Jeep guys are another breed, All man. Good, right? So, Wayne, what was going through your head on that? Because I was nervous for you. I'm not nervous. I was like, how in the hell is he gonna get out of I'm that? I'm nervous. I've had Jeeps completely on their side where I'm touching dirt out my window and just bring it right back over. It's a goat, it'll That's go cool. anywhere. So, can your Jeep do that? Yes, it's a Rubicon. Let's get it. With not this, stock. it can. Not stock. <laughs> With this, it can. So, so that good? 
Drop in, good. Can you hold it there? I want to take that shot. Piece of cake. Just cruising. I think SDI is trying to be like uh, Helio from Keep It Dirty. Uh -oh. Keep It Dirty off road. I think you uh, started something. You started a trend. No, 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 no. Leave it the way it was. Put it hanging. That looks better. Started a trend. There you go. Like keep better. Keep It Dirty off road. <laughs> Typical Jeep. It just droops, bro. It just droops down, and you see where it loses uh, traction because there's the tires don't touch, but you could see. It pushing down and you, dude, you had traction the whole time. Mm -hmm. Jeeps. But quit, quit, I, I think quit, it's- Quit bashing Jeeps. I think it's more than that though, man, because <laughs> because uh, I've seen Jeeps go through stuff like this and they're slipping like crazy. You didn't slip. You didn't slip and you could see the shocks doing their thing and pushing down and keeping the traction going. Yeah, and it's taking your time. Spinning gets you nowhere. Shocks are a big part. You don't get any traction if you're not on the ground. That was really impressive. But it's, it's a big hole. Right? That's only two inch lift. When you're doing this, does the e-click system actually push down to help get you to the Yeah, so right? as you're off camber, say you're leaning to the left, it's gonna not push down, but it's gonna keep it from going down. We're gonna, we're gonna clamp down on the compression so it won't go. And so if you're clamping on the compression and you let go, the rebound's gonna go. And then you clamp it again, your rebound's gonna go. So you're just gonna keep there and holding down travel. This is about a five foot hole, five yeah. foot drop. You should try your rapids or your next. I'm good. So guys, coming to you next, uh, you see that Jeep over there? We're gonna drop that Jeep through here. So we're gonna watch Helio. Helio's gonna do this next. So uh, Helio, are you ready? Let's go, buddy. Ready? I I'll spot you. Married. I wanna stay married. I will, I'll spot you. No way, dude. Hey, that Jeep will make it in and out through here. No problem. No way, dude. There's no way that stock Jeep can make this. <laughs> your only problem would be your approach angle. Yeah. That's why you'd have to just come over further and get more of an angle. We'll get you up. You need e-click. You need it. <laughs> so that's what happens when you don't have the e-click. You just walk away. You walk. You walk away to your stock Jeep. Walk of shame to your stock Jeep. There's no e-clicks on it. It was nuts. <laughs> that was nuts. I should take you out on a Jeeping day. You should. I just did one last weekend. At, uh, we did Cleghorn. So I am thoroughly impressed in this Jeep. On the high speed shots, it looked like it traveled faster than the Raptors. But it couldn't get as much speed because it was a little slippery, right? And slippery that's because short of your wheelbase. That's also your tires. You need new tires. <laughs> Why do you still have KO2s on this thing? We're about to swap. I think it was more tires than anything else. And it was very impressive to see it not bounce around as much as the Raptor. And the reason for that is the stroke, right? These have a longer stroke? Longer stroke. So what are we looking at? The Raptors is about an eight inch stroke. Eight What's inch. the stroke on these? So our shocks are anywhere from nine and three quarter to 11.75 stroke. Almost 12 inches with the stroke. 12. And that's way more than a Raptor does. Yeah. So that explains what we saw today, how smooth it looked and how composed it looked. I mean, the Raptors for the most part, they could fully compress and then they jump that second one after the suspension has been bottomed out. This one didn't. In fact, I don't think the front wheels ever left the ground on that second one, which is impressive. Very, very different dynamic. And it's something we weren't expecting from a Jeep. Definitely not. I've told I've told you guys from day one, this Jeep is more impressive than a Raptor. So he did tell me, I did tell, I told you, I drove it and I was impressed. I didn't drive it as hard as Wayne drives it, but it's, it's definitely impressive. Another thing to note is that on the landing, it doesn't bottom out and, it, and on the landing it's very smooth. It's, it lands way better than the Raptor. So that's, that's because of the integrated bumps, right? In a Raptor you have to get extra bumps, hydraulic bumps in order to smooth and ride. This, the whole tapping of the shock is a bump, right? On all Correct. four corners. So this gives you bump stops and shocks and electronic control, active electronic control. Yes. In one shock. Yes. We're, and much cheaper than getting shocks and bumps. 
Yeah, without fabricating. Why are more Jeeps running this? Great question. I think everybody and their mother needs it. So like for me, the, the high speed <laughs> stuff was impressive, but I think the low speed, the articulation stuff was also very different. I noticed a couple of things that I hadn't seen in regular Jeeps. And maybe you could explain this, right? When you were going down in there, the back end wasn't falling out like it does on a Jeep, right? Where it just saw all of a sudden it would just drop. The shock would just drop. It was slow drop. And even when it was compressing, it was a slow compression where it didn't all of a sudden compress all of a sudden. So like the system to me, it seems like in trail mode, it's slowing down your compression as much as it can to keep you as stable as you're going through there. And no matter how articulated you are, it's adjusting the corners to try to still keep you level, but also keep the power down, which I've never seen a Jeep do that. Right. Uh, everything's set up to keep the composure of the vehicle. So if you do come off a waterfall or a slide or whatever, right, and it wants to lower that one wheel out and then unload the body, we'll stiffen that shock so it won't unload the body. But, but it was slow so that you didn't have the jerkiness because going the in Jeep there. Jeep was moving slow. So if you have the Jeep moving fast, it's going to go fast. If you go in slow motions, it's going to do the same thing. It almost uh, gives you more control by doing it that way, right? Because it's you could you could see the shocks doing the job and you normally don't see that in a regular Jeep. No. In a Jeep, you just see it drop and you just see it come in, but it doesn't, you don't see it pushing up against the ground to give you traction. You just, you know, it's up to the skill of the Jeep driver. Correct. This looks very different. This makes things look a lot easier. It does, it does, because it made it look like you, you were done. I, there's no way I was gonna take my wife's Jeep through there. Even if he was driving, <laughs> she would've killed me. You didn't even want to take this Jeep through there. No, I, I'm not a Jeep guy. I'm, on, I'm honest with the fact that I'm a Raptor guy. I'm not a Jeep guy, but I was impressed by that. That was amazing. Now, would you say that adding your shocks to this, would, would that make you a better Jeep driver? Is it it's going to bring your easier? confidence level way up. So it keeps the Jeep stable in conditions you don't expect it to be stable in. Well, and I think that's that's the key here, right? The Jeep is just an off-roader, and in anything else, it's an annoying vehicle. It's a compromising vehicle. After today, lifted two and a half inches, 37s. I know I've kept saying that a million times today, guys, but there's a reason why I kept saying that today. Because it just to remind you guys that this thing is driving better than a stock Jeep with the fully modified suspension much higher off the ground. It drove better. This man drove it like a freaking race car and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and on the streets, both high speed and slow speed, it impressed us better than a stock Jeep would do. So I'm I'm blown away by this thing. And I hope you guys are too, because that, that was impressive. Suspension without compromise. That's what yeah. we're all about. Now, before we sign off, you guys got something to show us too for the Toyota gang. Let's take a little walk. You Toyota guys, don't feel left out. You guys are next. Is that a taco I see there? That is a taco you see. There's a taco with E-Click. Taco with E-Click. Yeah, two and a half inch, coil over front, piggyback rear with our electric valves in it. Independent system. Fully integrated into just like a Jeep or a Raptor. We still, I think, are trying to figure out mounting locations. Looks like they may have it. We're thinking about maybe a cup holder mount or an optional dash mount because there's no handles and stuff on this one like there is on the Raptors. You don't have a cool shifter that we can take apart like you can on the Jeeps. So we're trying to find the best mounting location for the controller. How much suspension travel though? Does a stock Tacoma get and does it improve with your system? Actually, yeah, the suspension is way better than stock. And we're actually more impressed with this on the highway because normally they don't drive very well on the highway and this well, is way better. I don't like Toyota's either and there's a reason why too. <laughs> but, but this is impressive. We saw it out on the trail today and uh, it looked pretty good to me. And you guys are still tuning it. So We're still, still gonna get tuning better. it. Still playing with it. It's gonna get our, our secret sauce for sure. So that's just a peek for your taco guys. E-Click system's coming for it. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Thoroughly impressed with that Jeep. We're gonna see what we can do about possibly getting that on my wife's truck and seeing what's the best configuration is for that. Thoroughly impressed. If you guys have any questions, go to the website, sdieclick.com. I think this is the website, we'll put it down here. And big thanks to Caesar and Wayne for helping us out today. Caesar being my cameraman again and Wayne for getting us access to all this stuff. Because Wayne, I may need some new underwear. He's a madman. <laughs> yes. But thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.